So there's a really special story that goes with this compost. Uh, as far as I know, this is the, the longest lasting mother pile out there, thermophilic mother pile. Um, she's about 10 years old now. And when I made this pile, uh, it was when I was working for Elaine in Berry Creek. And it just so happened that my partner's really good friend, she calls her her California mom, um, passed away. And we decided that we wanted to do something really special for her. She was an avid gardener and, uh, you know, was just a really sweet soul. And so we talked to the husband and said, hey, what if, you know, we did this honoring for your wife? And we, at the reception, you know, after the, after the funeral, we, at the meal, tell everybody that this meal and all the scraps from the meal are gonna go into this compost that we're gonna build and all the flowers from the ceremony and all of the leaves and stuff from the, from the cemetery and, and, and other things. And we got a lock of her hair and we've got, you know, some special items that were given, organic items that were given from the husband. And, um, and we collected materials for about a week before we made the pile. And there were several meals that had special like energy to them, you know, humor you know, was put in the compost. And there was like, you know, my dog that also passed away, um, you know, some of his <laughs> poop went in there, you know, and he was special to the land up there. And so when we built this compost, there was a lot of intention uh, to it. And we, you know, had a ceremony. I actually, I put a crystal about this size <laughs> in the middle of the pile. Uh, when we built it, we had a, a big, abalone shell that was in the pile and it was like all these fun things is like as we're turning can we find the abalone shell can you find the crystal you know we found it um, and so we made the very first pile and there was I mean it was like the most diversity I've ever done it was my first you know I had done well no I couldn't say it was my first my first after like trial for three times right where I'm starting to understand what I'm doing really well and I've been taking all of Lane's classes and you know starting to really understand and so I started collecting all these diverse materials and made this pile it was amazing got the temperature at the right days kept the temperature where it's supposed to and so this has been the mother pile so every pile that's ever been created since then has had some of the mother pile put back into it and everything that I've done has had this in it all the plants I've sold thousands of plants you know, the school gardens, other school gardens, Catalyst Bio Amendments did their very first pile from my mother pile. So all the compost they've ever created has a piece of Kathy, as her name, Kathy in it. So one of my hopes is, is that this compost will be the longest living mother compost pile in history, that one day it's gonna be ancient, you know, and we even, had this idea of doing a yearly ceremony where we uh, a bunch of us come together in the regenerative movement we bring all of our mother piles to one place and we put it all together we have this awesome ceremony and then you know we make a pile you know we add some of that mother pile in during the thing and then at the end everybody gets a piece of the mother mother pile you know so it's like accumulating in like biodiversity over the years we could even get you know, and so imagine that, right? So, you know, this festival that's all centered in the life-giving force of the base of all life, right? That goes out to all these different people and that goes on. Maybe this festival could go on for hundreds, if not thousands of years, you know? I mean, it's pretty amazing because when I meet people and I know this is going somewhere and then I get to see their gardens later and I see life expressed, you know, from, from this first, and you know, and, and we keep sending, I mean, he's probably kind of sick of it at this point. We, we send Paul, you know, all the pictures and everything. Anytime like another pile or something goes to somebody, another garden, I'm like, here's Kathy, here's Kathy, you know, and her life has been expressed in so many different ways. It's probably touched, I mean, tens of thousands of people at this point. 
you know, and who knows how much, how many microbes have been, you know, built up from this, you know, a number that I can't say that <laughs> you probably know better than me. But um, yeah, and I think it's the intention too that, that you know, Ru Rudolf Steiner and uh, Rudolf Steiner and everything, they, you know, they have a very particular um, systems and, and a lot of intention that goes into it. And, uh, and yeah, I think that's great. You know, like, why not? Why shouldn't we put that intention in? Um, and uh, yeah, so it's a, it's a really fun thing. So we we're I'm hoping to write a little uh, book about this and it's gonna be called The Greatest Story Ever Told. Yeah. <laughs> and just really focusing on how important that this is. It's like, you know, it's like keeping the torch lit, yeah. you know? You got to keep the torch lit, you know? I, I mean, I'm really like, I'm, <laughs> I feel an incredible amount of guilt. Like if I'm ever like out and, and I know that the pile is, might get a little dry, I'm like, oh my God, I got to go back and water the compost. <laughs> you know, like this has been going for so, but the great part about it is if for some reason I did totally you know, have a life crisis or whatever. I've got all these other great people that have it, you know? So I've yeah. got Catalyst, you know, which always is gonna have some, right? Uh, they're always gonna have a good inoc And they're the one, and you know, they're the ones I keep, I always get some back from them, you know? They always, I was like, okay. And I give them some and they bring some back and uh, it's great, so. That's beautiful. Yeah, this is on day six or seven. Uh, now it's been one week and uh, two turns yesterday I turned it so it got up to temp in four days and then turned it two days later it got back up to temp it was like 140 when I turned it and then it's at like 130 almost right now so it's on schedule it's doing pretty good um, yeah lean a lot of um, alfalfa in this pile um, and I wanted to get my protozoa counts up and um, I'm going to be using this a lot in Berry Creek um, for the mosquito uh, populations as well um, and so, around serious. the pond. Protozoa is like to numb the mosquito larvae. Okay. Yeah. I like just mounded piles because I feel like they express more of the natural energy of, you know, fire and, and heat, right? Um, and I think that's, that's important. That's why I like the windrows are great, you know. Um, but I do like a whole, you know, yeah, the whole inversion thing um, here. And, and I, like what I've been doing lately um, is I actually like will build it up to a certain point and then I'll actually pull the cage out a little bit. So when I add that last bit, it like goes on the outsides, like the, the center of the bottom. So it's like actually really like separated and stuff. I know it's, it's getting crazy, but when I, I like first, that. when I first, <laughs> work with Elaine oh my god she was a stickler about it up there and it was like shaking you know you got to shake you know everyone and and so we don't do all that anymore but <laughs> got that soil is the linchpin to life to civilization to health if we want a healthy future to fight an environmental collapse, to live regeneratively and ethically, and to experience a life of abundance and freedom. We want healthy and abundant soil everywhere. But that means we need to relearn old ways and learn some new ways to build, cycle, and partner with soil and soil life. We can change the world radically but it's up to us we have to make those choices we have to partner with soil and soil life it takes our participation and support will you join us regenerative soil the full program we're going to dive deep we're going to be looking commercial we're going to be looking diy we're going to be going garden we're going to be going farm scale we're gonna cover it all. We wanna serve everyone at all levels and we wanna create that fluency, micro to macro, so that we can spread the regeneration of our soil, our ecosystems, all our systems, all across the world. You can do this. You can regenerate soil because regenerative soil is the linchpin for life. It's the linchpin for all systems all of our civilization, 
Everything is running on this. Everything is based on this. Everything is relying upon this. Check out the link down below. Sign up and, and join us in Regenerative Soil, the full online course. You're not going to want to miss it. I'm Matt Powers. Grow abundantly, learn daily, and live regeneratively.